Today we're doing a tag. I don't do tags very often anymore, but this tag was started by Dale's Addiction. If you have not seen her channel yet, you have to check her out. I have really been enjoying watching her videos and her personality. I think if you like me, you would also like her. And if you don't like me, what are you doing here? But I was tagged by Styled by Gwenny, my friend across the pond, and Dale is across the planet. She's in Australia. And this tag is all about bags that you would take on holiday, or as we stay in the States, vacation. And it's been a long time since most of us have been on vacation, so you may need some refreshers. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. The premise of Dale's holiday bag tag is that you are to choose five bags that you would have taken on a previous vacation. And she framed this as why a previous vacation? Because we're not taking vacations right now. I guess in Australia for the foreseeable future, people generally aren't taking vacations. Boy, it's a different story in America. People have been vacationing the whole time. Some people anyway. And Dale specified five bags for a previous dream vacation that you've taken. I'm gonna cheat in a few ways on this tag. First of all, I'm gonna show you more than five bags, but secondly, I will pick bags for a previous dream vacation that I had, which is very, very similar to the one that Dale took. But I'm also going to talk about bags for an upcoming vacation when school is out this summer, because we're all vaccinated and we are gonna be traveling again. Though they will be local trips, we are not quite ready to get on an airplane yet. Although I've heard that's pretty safe. I would rather not be that close and especially enclosed with that many strangers just yet. Dale also said that the bags you're taking, keep in mind this is a fantasy, so you don't have to worry about luggage, how much space the bags would take up, how much weight they might add to your luggage. Don't worry about that. Any bags you want, they're just magically at your vacation destination. That said, I'm also going to imagine that from one vacation destination to the other, for example, maybe you're in a vehicle and then suddenly you're in a restaurant, I can have a bag for each of those things without having to go back to the hotel to switch bags. The dream vacation that I chose to pick bags for, like I said, very similar to Dale's. Hers was a five-week trip to Italy, and mine is a five-week trip to Italy. Looks like we did go to some different places though. We flew in and out of Rome. And by the way, I had none of these bags back then. I didn't have any kind of luxury back then. As my airplane bag, I would choose a Longchamp Le Pliage in large size. Now, a lot of people choose Neverfulls for airplane bags, but I've taken a Neverfull on an airplane before and the, I don't think they're the best airplane bag. They're open on the top. They do hold a lot. They hold the same amount that this bag does, pretty much. The first time I took my Neverfall on an airplane, it got scratched, too, from being under the seat. So I wouldn't take a bag that expensive as my airplane carry-on. The Le Pliage is a perfect choice. It's weatherproof. You might be outside in an airport at some point. It has a zipper to keep your things secure. It does have a little pocket inside and it opens up to be very, very spacious. I have a few Le Pliage in a large size. I would take this one because it's my most unique and identifiable one. A lot of people use Le Pliage bags at the airport and if I set it down, I wouldn't want to get it confused with someone else's bag. So this is my airplane bag. By the way, before anyone asks me, I don't know where I got this necklace. People always ask when I wear it in a video. I got it years and years ago. It was somewhere where you wouldn't be able to look it up and find it anyway, so can't answer that question. In Italy, we spent most of our time in Tuscany. We rented a little house there, but that was our home base. And then we did satellite trips to different places from there. Some day trips, some multiple night trips at other locations. And we rented a car and we drove to a lot of these small Tuscan towns and cities. So my Tuscany car bag, I chose the Shop in Moscow tote. I wish it was the Shop in Italy tote, but it's not. I have one in black and I have the bronze and it's Italy. So we have to pick the more special pieces to wear. A tote is the perfect car trip bag, road trip bag, because I can keep it at my feet 
and I can just lean down and get what I want. I don't have to unzip anything. It's perfectly accessible and it holds a lot. And this bag is just spectacularly beautiful. So that's my Italian road trip bag. I forgot to mention, and I don't think Dale really specified this, but all the bags that she showed were pieces that she currently has in her collection. So I assumed that I'm supposed to pick bags that are in my collection. However, I did cheat a little bit. I have a couple of bags that are dream bags. They're still on my wish list. One of those is my Italian city bag, the bag that I would take to the big cities like Rome and Florence. And that is my ultimate dream bag, the Chanel reissue 227, either in black with the ruthenium hardware or in bronze with ruthenium hardware. And I recently added the dark silver with ruthenium hardware. Now, barring that, I mean, that's the perfect bag to carry in the big cities, but barring that and more realistically for my budget, the closest thing I have found to that bag, my Coach Melody 29. It has the braided leather and chain straps that come out. It's a beautiful bag. I have videos on this if you're interested. I highly, highly recommend this bag. It's comfortable. It's very well made. It is by far my favorite Coach bag in my collection, and it's just really beautiful. Great city bag. Among the satellite trips that we took for multiple night stays was a trip up to Vernazza in the Cinque Terre. That's on the Italian Riviera on the northwest coast of Italy. Ton of stairs in Vernazza. And because of that, I wouldn't want to be carrying a lot. I want to have a small bag, something lightweight, easy to carry, and also something versatile and functional that I could wear crossbody to be hands-free, or I could take it to dinner. And for that I chose my Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch. It holds more than you think it would, being a small bag. It's cute, it's pretty, with the gold details, and it also comes with a crossbody strap. Great bag for a hot summer day and for climbing stairs. The other big multi-night trip we took away from Tuscany was a trip to Venice. I absolutely adored Venice. It was beautiful. It was magical. It was a place I thought I would never go in my life. And I always say this trip to Italy was truly a dream trip. The way I grew up, we were never able to travel like barely in the States and certainly not overseas. That was like not even in the realm of possibility. So the Italy trip really was a dream come true. And I always say about it, if I die never having gone anywhere else, I will die happy with my vacation experiences because that was the ultimate vacation for us. In Venice, unless you're on a boat, you walk everywhere, which I loved. Such a beautiful, interesting city. So fun to walk because there's so much to see and there are all these little bridges and things and it's, it's just such an interesting place. So for that, I wanted another easy to carry bag. Something again, that's versatile. I can handhold, I can wear crossbody. Something that's casual, but I could also take to a restaurant. Something I can put little trinkets in that I purchase all the Murano glass I buy. And for that I chose my favorite bag from my favorite place, the Louis Vuitton Turin MM. Love this bag. It also comes with a crossbody strap that I currently don't have attached, but it is very comfortable. It's casual, but a little dressy with the pleats and the shape of it. Beautiful bag, easy to wear, lightweight, and still holds a lot. It's kind of the perfect bag. It really is. I love, love, love this bag. Now, one of the things about Italy is there is art everywhere. I was amazed by this. I was not expecting that. I knew they had a lot of art museums, but I mean, it's everywhere on the street. Everywhere you look, there's art and history. It's, it's such an incredible place. And of course, we did go to several museums and inside churches, which are also basically art museums. But for this tag, I chose an art museum bag, and actually I couldn't decide. I chose several. A few are dream bags, and some are not. So let me start with the dream bags. The Arte Capucine, if I was going to any art museum, would probably be my ultimate art museum bag. One of the Arte Capucines, I don't exactly know which one. I love the white one with the fruit hanging off of it, but then I also love this one with all the different pieces of leather. Some are metallic. I like the blue and gold together. And I also like this one that looks very hand-drawn and it has the little giraffe hanging off it. But then there's also the Masters collection. And a lot of people hate that collection, but I really liked a couple of the pieces. And one, my favorite was the Rubens with the tiger and then the 
sort of royal blue trim. And something I very well may add to my collection someday is this clutch. I was able to see one of the clutches in person at Louis Vuitton when the collection was out, and I thought it was really beautiful, especially with the gold chain. So that could be an option for an art museum. Another piece that I just added to my collection and I don't have yet, so spoiler alert here, the Coach and Basquiat collaboration. A few of those bags just came up on the outlet and I was able to purchase one. I won't show you which one, you'll have to wait for that unveiling, but that could also be a good art museum bag. Any of the bags that are collaborating with artists basically would be an art museum bag for me. Or if I didn't have that bag, I have a couple of bag charms that are collaborations that I could add to any of my bags, like this Basquiat Rexy dinosaur bag charm. That was a coach piece and so is this, the Campbell's tomato soup bag charm, which is not technically an artist collaboration, but reminds you of Warhol, right? And then I forgot to pull my Kusama Louis Vuitton bag charm with the little pumpkin dots on it. And my final Italy bag. I'm a photographer. I need a bag to hold my camera equipment. One handbag in my collection that could do that job, potentially, is the Rebecca Minkoff Edie Maxi. What makes this a good camera bag is that it's padded and it's large and it's sturdy. So it would be good to hold a camera or a few lenses and other camera accessories that I might need to photograph the many many endless beautiful sights in Italy. Now for our upcoming summer trip. We will be going to Austin, Texas. This will be a road trip, a nearby road trip. We're in Houston, for those of you who don't know. So we'll drive up to Austin. It's just a few hours away. We'll spend a few nights there, and then we're gonna head over to Wimberley, where we've never stayed before. Between Austin and Wimberley, there are towns called Driftwood and Dripping Springs, and there are several wineries and distilleries there. And then just on the other side of Wimberley, there's a city called San Marcos where the outlets are like, I went there last summer, the Gucci and Prada and YSL, Ferragamo, and then they have some of the usual stuff like Coach. So we're gonna hit up all these places and I have selected some handbags for this trip. Since it's a road trip, I'll need another car bag. And for that, I've chosen the go-to travel bag, the Neverfull. This is the MM size. This is the Abend, so it's more weatherproof. No Vachetta to worry about. This is the one I took on the airplane and it got scratched somewhere. It got like a little nick in the handle or something, I don't remember, and then a little scuff on a corner maybe. Great bag, again, for putting at your feet in the car and being able to hold a lot and just reach in and grab whatever you need. There's a hotel in downtown Austin called the Driscoll, and we've never stayed there before, but it's this old, beautiful, beautiful hotel. Very grand and very Texas. Texas grand. Every time we go to Austin, we go to the Driscoll, but we go to the bar there. They have this gorgeous bar and they have fantastic drinks. Here's a tip for you. Anytime you're out of town, no matter where you're staying, if you're someone who appreciates a well-made beverage, find a fancy hotel and go to the bar there. We do that in New Orleans too. We will be staying at the Driscoll this time, finally. I'm very excited about that. I'm sure we will be frequenting the bar. They do also have a beautiful restaurant that we've been to before high-end, wonderful food, beverage. But unfortunately, due to COVID, that restaurant is still closed. So we won't be able to have a dinner there, but I'm sure we'll have a nice dinner somewhere else. So I need a dinner bag. All that to say I need a dinner bag. And I've already used my Eva in Italy. I wanted to pick a different bag for each of these things. And I'm realizing that I may need more dinner bags in my collection, because this wouldn't really be my ideal bag, but it's one that I have available and would work very well. I just wish I had something a little fancier. This is the Coach Alexa. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Favorite. I think it has a better latch than that bag though. Uh, I've got it stuffed right now, but it's a beautiful bag. It comes in black and a few other colors. It has a hook for a crossbody strap. It Mine came with a chain. I know some of them don't, um, but you could also attach a leather chain to it to dress it down a little bit. I could certainly add a gold chain and maybe some kind of bag charm from Dress Up Your Purse to dress that bag up a little to make it a little more fancy dinner bag. But that would be my Austin dinner bag selection. And when in Austin, it is unavoidable that you will hear music. Pretty much everywhere you go has live music, even the grocery stores. But we often make a point of going out at night specifically to music venues to hear various bands. So I need a music bag. For that, I want something lightweight and portable, but also cute. So I chose my Givenchy Pandora wristlet. And this is in the bronze color. I got this for myself for Christmas and I have I haven't had an opportunity to use it yet, so I am looking forward to taking it to Austin 
and using it there. The music venues tend to be crowded. I don't know what it'll be like now. They used to be like pretty crowded, so that's why I was thinking small bag would be good. Something that's zipped up as well. Once we leave Austin and we head down to the Dripping Springs, Driftwood, Wimberley area, we will be going to wineries and we will also be going to distilleries. I know there's a vodka distillery we've been to before. That's Dripping Springs Vodka. I also found a rum distillery. We're gonna go check that out. So I need a winery and distillery bag and you probably already know what I've chosen. The very obvious choice for a Louis Vuitton wine bag, the Noé and the GM size, which was originally designed to hold five bottles of champagne and which I purchased specifically to be my winery bag. I think it'll also hold rum. Now, every time I do some little trip like this, I'm inclined to vlog it for you guys because I know some of you are interested, especially a trip like this and especially post COVID so you can see what things are like in a place that you may never have been before. Most of you won't have been, but vlogging requires equipment. So I need a bag to carry that equipment. So I need a vlogging bag. And for that I have chosen, I actually picked two bags. I couldn't decide between. My first choice is my Speedy 30 in Damier Ben because I can zip it up. It holds a lot. It's easy to get in and out of. It would easily hold all my vlogging equipment, my little tripod, extra batteries and memory cards, all that stuff. And it's a comfortable bag. It's easy to wear. It's lightweight. So that's option one. But another option is my Trevi PM from Louis Vuitton. This is a prettier bag. It's fancier. It would still hold all my vlogging equipment. It still is versatile. I have the top handles. I have straps on both of those bags. So if I wanted something a little prettier and fancier, I'd go with this. The thing with this bag is it's a little heavy. It doesn't hold quite as much. It's a little cumbersome. When I had the GM bag before on a trip to New Orleans, I used that as my big camera bag. That worked really well. So I know this would work well for a vlogging bag too. I think of the two, I would pick this one just because it's a little prettier and fancier and more unique. Or maybe I could take one of those bags as my vlogging bag and my other bag as my outlet bag. Now again, we're speaking in dreamland here. I wouldn't actually take this many bags on one trip. Thank you so much to Dale for starting this tag and to Gwenny for tagging me. I will link both of their videos below. I would tag people, but I think everyone I would tag has already been tagged. And Dale said in her video that if you want to be tagged and you haven't been that you know of, just to go ahead and do it and say that she tagged you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope you get to travel soon and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.